Gus, you've coached against many, many great players back in your day. Um, if you're coaching against Latrell Mitchell, how do you stop him? Or how, how do you contain him? What, what, what's the plan on Latrell? You have to make him work hard. You have to kick to him when he's got no support in the backfield. You've got to make him run the ball from out of trouble. You've got to try and find him in those positions where he doesn't like to do a lot of that stuff. He likes to save himself for other parts of the game. So you'll see when they kick downfield, he'll leave it for a winger to go and get it or he'll catch it and throw it to the winger for them to run the ball back. He doesn't come in and make yardage, as Gal says. He's not working. So you need to put, you need to put his team under pressure with your kick chase and your field position and your field dominance, and you need to kick to him when he's got no one back there to support him, so he has to run the ball himself. That's easier said than done. Because what's happening with this South Sydney team is they know they've got him at the back. If everyone else just works really hard, they don't have to concentrate on winning the game. They don't have to come up with winning plays. They've got the X factor at the back and they know he'll inject himself when he's ready. So South Sydney are really working hard. Now, last week against the Sharks, all that hard work was too good for Cronulla. They were beating Cronulla without Latrell mm. Mitchell. Mm. So he didn't really get that involved. He had his little moments and his runs and all that sort of thing, but he virtually saved himself because he thought, they don't need me today. <laughs> you know, beating, they don't need me, so I'll, I'll just save myself for the following week. And there was even a time that they kicked downfield and it was sort of between him and the winger and he just didn't take a step. He just stood there with his hands on his hips and said, catch that one, mate, will you please? <laughs> Go and get that. And it's just, it's like he is commanding the band the whole time he is out there. He just knows where to be at the right time. And it was all the other players who beat the Sharks the other night. Mm. Latrell didn't really have one of his X-Factor dominant games because the others outworked him. Now, they're against the chief outworkers in the, team, in the competition. Panthers will work hard all night and their aim will be to get Latrell doing as much work that's not big moment stuff as possible. They're going to have to make him work out of the backfield. The South Sydney Rabbitohs, uh, there is some team news for yeah. you, Danny. It's, been, uh, it's one of those weeks uh, where there are a few question marks coming into today as to whether or not they be named. This is uh, the side to this point. Yeah, so look, Avili's out, as, as you can see. Uh, Calf. Uh, Jai Arrow, somehow he says he's going to play. Um, he, we saw that he had that groin injury and he, he looked pretty bad, but uh, he's declaring himself fit. Uh, so I think that's a big thing for, for Souths. And uh, Alex Johnson said to be 50-50 uh, with a hip flexor injury. And they've got a couple of people on the bench there um, who could, uh, in the squad rather, who could f fill in. Maybe Josh Mansell could come in. Uh, uh, and Richie, Richie Kenner, who I don't know that much about. But um, Mansell is, you know, obviously with the experienced player who used to play for the Panthers as well. So concerns though for Souths are starting to add up a little bit with injuries and uh, well, obviously with uh, Burgess out as well. So, I mean, it's, there's a few things that they'd be worried about. Havili's actually had a really good season. Oh, he's, he's been, been terri unreal. terrific through the middle of the field, whether he's playing dummy half or in a, in just in a middle forward type role. And no Tom Burgess. I think anyone to beat the Panthers has got to be at top strength and on their best day. And the Rabbitohs aren't going to be at top strength for a start. So that, that puts them behind the eight ball right from, from the part. But Havili is a big loss for them. Hasn't been held as a big loss, but it is because he does a lot of mountain of work in the middle of the field. That's enormous, guys. I'm with you. I think he's been unreal all season. He's filled in for Cook when Cook hasn't played. As a hooker, he's, he's traditionally been a hooker, but it's been his work in the middle of the field that's been impressive for me. He played just as a middle forward. Not the biggest guy in the world, but very, very strong. And he's going to be an enormous loss. And I worry about Johnson. I, I think a guy who relies so much on his speed to have a hip flexor injury and to recover in just one week, I, I don't... I I'm not sure he's going to be... He certainly won't be 100% and hopefully he can get through the game, but I don't think he's 100%.